I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of time. Well, we successfully learned how to swing faster yesterday. What's that, Nana, Nana Girl? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. You're still feel a bit sick. You were very brave. Anyway, I was thinking that a great superpower would be the ability to jump super slowly and then jump super fast. I mean, imagine that. I could jump around the world and then back to the spot in a fraction of a second. Do you know, it would be so fast that you wouldn't even know I did it. In fact, maybe I just did. Okay, no I did. But let's think about how we could make something jump super fast or super slow. Remember that thaumatrope that we made when I wanted the superpower of Super sight! Well, it can only show us two pictures. While I'm thinking about the superpower of time, I'm going to use what I learned about fast pictures moving in a thaumatrip to make something that will let me slow down or speed up time for a superhero skill. Today, I'm going to make a zoetrope. A zoetrope spins around really fast, like a thaumatrope, but inside it, it has lots of pictures in sequence that your brain mixes together to make one moving image. The technology of the zoetrope was developed over 150 years ago as one of the earliest types of cartoon or animation. Changing the speed of the zoetrope should let me control the speed of time for the superhero character inside the animation. For this experiment, you will need a piece of A4 paper, a sheet of card that is as long as your paper, and a smaller piece of thicker card. Tape, some blue tack, a pencil, a marker pen, ruler, and some scissors. We're gonna start by making our animation strip. So take your A4 piece of paper and fold it in half this way three times. One, two, three. When you unfold it, you should have eight columns that are marked by creases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now fold it once in half the other way. And you're gonna cut along that fold. Now you need to do some measuring with your ruler. So you want to measure three centimeters down from the top. And draw a line across there. And then you want to draw three millimeters either side of each crease. One, two, three. Draw lines down from each of those. Okay, next you want to leave a little bit of a gap along the bottom. Let's say about five millimeters. Now, note where all the creases are. Each of those is going to be an individual part to your animation. And so the trick is you need your first part of your animation to be the same as your last. And so for us, that's going to be our superhero in their static position. Now, in the middle is going to be the highest point of what we're doing. So I'm going to make that one here. And that's the top of our jump. Now you're gonna draw similar images that flow from the beginning to the end. And there you go, there's our sequence of images. You can see starts on the ground and then jumps up and then back down. Next, you're gonna cut a piece of card that is actually the same size as your strip of paper. and then you're gonna stick your paper onto your card. If you had some glue, you're gonna stick that down with glue. I don't have any glue, so I'm gonna tape mine with some sticky tape. Next, remember these three millimeters either side rectangles that we made? We are going to cut those out. Now you need to roll these two points up and tape them together. So you make a circle like this. Okay, so we're missing one hole here, our three millimeter either side hole. So I'm just gonna measure out three millimeters either side 
and also snip out a hole here. Perfect, it looks a little bit like a crown. Okay, now we want to draw onto our stiff card around the circle shape that we have just made. And then we're gonna cut this shape out. Okay, now find the middle of your circle and make a hole using a sharp pencil or some scissors. Now secure the base of this onto your crown shape with a little bit of sticky tape. And there you have it, this is your Zoe trope. So, if we look through the little slits here as we spin the pencil, the animation should move. Ha oh, it's jumping! That's super cool. And I can slow it down. Whoa, slow jump. Or I can speed it up. Whee! I can even make it go backwards if I want. That's so cool. Okay, time for the moment of truth. Let's see if Nano Nano Girl can jump really fast if we put her inside the Zoe trip. Are you ready? Here you go. Okay, now let's see what happens when we spin it. Like she's jumping really, really high. Wait for it. Oh no, that didn't really go to plan. She jumped out and then she crashed and burned. I need to think of maybe a seatbelt system in here so that I can get it to stick next time. Anyway, don't worry. I hope you've enjoyed making your own animation and your superhero or your mini me jump. I've certainly had an interesting week learning all about time. Let's think about what we've done. We've learned how to keep time with the help of the sun. Oh, and the moon. And we've learned how to time things with water and how fast it trips. And we've also learned how swinging or the speed of things swinging can actually help us to keep time, like with a clock or even a metronome. And today we have learned how to speed up and slow down time based on this Zoe trip. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a superhero who controls time, but I've had the time of my life learning about it. I'll see you next week for more superhero science. Until next time. Oh, get it? Next time. Hey, Nana Nana Girl, did you get it? Oh, she's still down there. Never mind. Honestly, my jokes are wasted on her. See you next time.